Hi everyone and welcome in my another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Marcin and today I want to talk to you about colors, about my favorite way of working with color balance and few different adjustment layers, color adjustment layers. Before we start working with colors, what I want you to do every time you're going to work to look at the image and trying to define the colors that exist on the image on the shadows and on the highlights. Let's look at this image I have right over here. And first of all, we can easily define the highlights. We have really strong highlights just behind the model. They are mostly, we could say it's white color, a bit yellow color. So for sure right now, I know for the highlights, I would like to go with yellow colors, maybe with orangey colors. And here is the point where we come in how the colors works. Imagine opposite color to the color yellow will be blue. Imagine color red and opposite color to the color red will be green, etc. Of course, we can pick any color and find the opposite color for, um, and we can uh, choose opposite color to the existing color. And I'm sure you've seen a lot of music videos, a lot of posters, a lot of images where exist two colors and the colors that exist on the video or picture are actually opposite to each other. Why is it like that? Because the opposite colors work together. This is something that you have to remember. The colors look good when they are opposite to each other on the image. That's why when we have red, it's good to have color green. That's why when we have blue, it's good to have color yellow. So I'm going to start with the starting point. I have yellow color, a bit orangey. So for the shadows, for the model, for the thing around here, I want to have bluish color. So I will go to the color balance. First of all, we're going to start with very basic thing. And I'm going to start with shadows. As I want opposite, I would go with blue tones for the shadows. So, and even I'm just dragging the blue, this image looks much more contrasting. Why it looks more contrasting? Because this color actually works for this image because blue color works really good for this highlight. I could even go just a bit maybe with cyan, but not really too much. And that would look that way. Even red color would look good for um, the shadows if we would go with cyan for the highlights, right? But I wouldn't really go that way. That would be quite risky. So I would keep this rather in the blue tones. And then I'm going to switch into highlights. And for the highlights, I'm going to work with opposite way. I'm going to add yellows and just slightly a bit red. So what happened right now? This is before and this is after. Suddenly, this image with this composition looks much more dramatic, much more contrastic, and it seems that the colors really eat in each other. They really work well. So this was very basic thing. I want to show you how you can even better define your shadows and highlights. So I'm going to remove this color balance. And what I'm going to do, I'm going into the channels. Look at the channels. I'm going to start with the channel red. And you can see on the image, we have really a lot of red color. Let's have a look on green. And also this green color cannot define anything on this image. Though, when you go down to your blue channel, as you can see, the blue channel can really nicely define highlights on the image and less shadows. What I mean by define highlights, all of the white area represent highlights over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make selection from the channel blue. I'm going to press Control or Command and hit on channel blue. I'm going back to my layers. And now I'm going to choose color balance. So remember, this is our highlights. What we see on this layer mask, I'm going to play a press outer option and hit on this. What we see, we see black 
and white area. White area is something visible, black area won't be visible, and the white area in this case are of course highlights. So if I work that way with color balance and choose highlights, it will be even much better defined, the, the, the area of highlights and shadows will be even better defined than without this layer mask. So this is super powerful, but okay, how to make now for shadows? What I would do, I would just press Ctrl or Command once again, hit on this color balance and create another another color balance. And now I'm going to press Ctrl or Command and I to invert this mask. And now I'm going to press Alter Option and hit on this layer. And as you can see, this layer mask is inverted. And now the white colors represent the shadows. As you can see, highlights are super dark, so it won't be affected. Let me rename the layers over here. This one will be highlights. And the other layer will be shadows. So in this layer, I'm going to jump into shadows and push it into the blue and cyan, which I believe work really perfect on that image. I didn't push it too much really. Now let's put this to the group. So I'm just pressing shift or control and just pressing the, uh, hitting the layers, then control or command G and we have group. I'm going to call this color balance. So with using channels and color balance, we can really improve the tones that exist on our image, improve the tones, improve the colors. As you can see, this is all very simple steps, but how powerful is that? At the end, I just want to mention to you that you can do this with every different adjustment layer. You can use filter, photo filter, you can use solid color if you want to do this that way. How we would do this, I'm just going to experiment a little bit more. So I'm just going to take selection from the layers that I already have here. And I would like to go with shadows. So what I would do with shadows, I would go to solid color and I would affect this by some blue color, maybe some dark blue color. Of course, it cannot be too dark because I want the colors work well together. So I wouldn't go with this. Okay. And now I'll just experiment with the blending modes. I would go, the, the easiest way would be to go with color and then lower the opacity. But as you can see, it just doesn't work maybe that great. It, it looks a bit weird. So I would also go with soft light. I would be trying with soft light and a few other adjustment layers. And with soft light, it actually works really well. And the same way we can pick the selection from the highlights. And for this time, I'm just going to use something different, maybe photo filter. I'm going to choose photo filter. As you can see now, this photo filter affect only our highlights. Of course, this effect is right now too strong, so I'll just turn this off and that would look much better in this way. As you can see, everything works great together. And yeah, I just want to show you the advantage of using of, of using channels, of using channels, experimenting with the channels, with layer masks, and see how powerful is actually color balance for the tones, but also for the help. It's really great to use other adjustment layers as well. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you want something more, you can of course check out my premium courses. Um, I could recommend you actually my action course. You can see I'm having all of my actions over here. Also, I have some simple actions for, uh, for color balance, which are very basic. And I have the actions for, that work in opposite way. 
they are quite universal working for every image very soft and there is plenty other actions as well of course i don't have time uh, to show you them all even if i'd love to but they work really great and of course once again if you work this way i really recommend you to work with the with the layers because it will give you just amazing results have a look uh, without working this way it wouldn't work we can invert that see how does it work so as you can see over 100 actions in the course link in the, is in the description and now i'm leaving you with photoshop to practice your own skills thank you for watching and see you soon in another photoshop tutorial